Hi everyone, I'm Diyasha and in this lesson we are going to look a little more closely at the method used by chemists to neutralize a base using an acid. This technique is called a titration. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the method of doing a titration and use data from a titration to find the concentration of an unknown. Now, before we take a look at a titration in action, let's check the answers to the task I gave you at the end of the previous lesson. Remember the general equation we worked out the last time was an acid plus an alkali react to form salt plus water. Let's begin by looking at the word equations first. Nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide. Now what will the products be? Remember, hydrochloric acid forms salts that are chlorides. Nitric acid forms salts that are nitrates and sulfuric acid forms salts that are sulfates. So the completed word equation will be nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide react to form sodium nitrate plus water. Now let's add in the chemical formula. Nitric acid is H N O three plus sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH. React to form sodium nitrate, which is NaNO3 plus water, H2O. Check. This equation is now balanced. Now for the sulfuric acid equation. Sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide react to form sodium sulfate plus water. The chemical formula for this equation is sulfuric acid which is H2SO4 plus sodium hydroxide which is NaOH react to form sodium sulfate N A two S O four plus water H two O. Remember, when we write equations, we must check that we have written the formula correctly. The tricky compound here is sodium sulfate. Sodium has a valency of one, so it forms N A plus ions and sulfate ions are minus two. So we must have two sodium ions for each sulfate ion and we write the formula as Na2SO4. Now we need to check if this is balanced. Can you see that there are two sodium atoms as part of the product but only one above? To balance this we add in a two in front of the NaOH. Now we have to balance the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. We can do this by placing a 2 in front of the H2O. So the balanced equation is H2SO4 plus 2NaOH react to form Na2SO4 plus 2H2O. I'm sure you managed those equations, but remember to practice in class and when you're revising the section. Now these chemical equations are, in fact, very useful. Chemists use this type of reaction to prepare salts or to calculate the concentration of an unknown solution. Can you remember what the word concentration means? Concentration is defined as the number of moles of solute divided by the volume of solution. The symbol for concentration is capital C and we can use this formula to calculate concentration 
capital C is equal to N divided by capital V. The units of concentration are mole dot dm to the minus 3 or capital M which stands for molar. So if this hydrochloric acid has a concentration of 1,0 molar or 1,0 capital M this means there is one mole of hydrochloric acid in one decimeter cube of solution. Remember one decimeter cubed is the same as 1000 centimeters cubed. Now today we have a really exciting feature. We are going to join John at Mintec where Gladys, a chemical technician, is going to show us how to do a titration. <laughs> Watch here, Gladys is preparing her alkali solution. She's measuring it out accurately and then is adding indicator. You can see its color is purple. She now dilutes the indicator with distilled water and is getting ready to perform her titration. Here she goes, using the burette, she adds a few drops of acid. Watch the indicator is going to change color. Now, there are some important facts I want you to take note of from that demonstration. Firstly, did you notice that when exactly the right amount of acid was added to the base, the chemical indicator changed color? At this point, the acid has exactly neutralized the alkali. This is given a special name. It is called the end point of a titration. An end point of a titration is when the reactants have been used up and only products are formed. This end point can be detected in different ways. When doing a titration with an indicator, the point at which one drop of acid causes a change in the color of the indicator is taken as the end point. In a chemical laboratory, this process can also be done using a machine. This machine plots the change in pH as the acid is added. This pH curve can then be used to find the exact end point. The second point to notice is that at the end point of a titration, we will know the exact volume of acid and the volume of base used up. This is very useful data that can be used to calculate exact concentrations of an unknown acid or base. Let's look at an example of a typical titration calculation. A 20 centimeter cubed solution of sodium hydroxide with a concentration of 0, 0,1 mole dot dm to the minus 3 neutralizes exactly 15 centimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid of unknown concentration. Here we need to find the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. So to start we need to write down the balanced chemical equation. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, plus hydrochloric acid, HCl, react to form sodium chloride, NaCl, plus water, H2O. Now, can you see that from the balanced equation, the ratio of moles reacting is 1 to 1. Now, let's look back at the question. We are given the volume and concentration of the alkali, and we need to find the concentration of the acid. Remember that in all chemical calculations, the key is to find the number of moles present. In this case, we can use the formula C equals N divided by V. This formula defines the relationship between concentration, number of moles, and volume. So let's use it. To get the number of moles, we just need to change the subject of the formula. To get N equals C multiplied by V. Now, we can substitute in the values of concentration and volume of the sodium hydroxide. Our concentration 
zero comma one mole dot dm to the minus three and our volume is twenty centimeters cubed. Can you see that there's a problem here? The units of volume are not the same. This means that we need to convert the volume from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed. We can convert by dividing 20 centimeters cubed by 1,000. This gives us 0, 0,02 decimeters cubed. And by completing the calculation, we can find that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide present is 0, 0,002 mole. Now, let's fold this data in below the equation. Remember that the ratio of acid to alkaline is 1 to 1, and that 0, 0,002 mole of sodium hydroxide neutralize the acid. This means that exactly 0, 0, 0,002 mole of hydrochloric acid was present. Now, we have one last step to complete the calculation. We have the number of moles of acid, but need to find the concentration. Here we can use the formula C equals N divided by V again. Remember, the volume of acid used was given in the original question. So, we can now substitute into the formula C equals N divided by V. Our number of moles is 0, 0,002 mole. And our volume is 15 centimeters cubed. Again, don't forget to convert the volume from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed by dividing by 1000. We then have 0, 0,002 mole divided by 0, 0,015 decimeters cubed which gives us 0, 0,13 mole dot dm to the minus 3. So, We've solved the problem. The concentration of the hydrochloric acid is 0, 0,13 moles per decimeter cubed. Let's quickly recap the steps for a titration problem. Step 1. Write a balanced chemical equation. Step 2. Show the ratio of moles reacting. Step 3. Apply the formula N equals C multiplied by V to find the number of moles present. Step 4. Use the ratio to find the number of moles of the unknown. And step 5. Calculate the concentration of the unknown using C equals N divided by V. Now, are you ready to try a titration question of your own as your task for today? Hydrochloric acid neutralizes a solution of sodium hydroxide in a titration. 24 centimeters cubed of 0, 0,5 molar hydrochloric acid and 16 centimeters cubed of the alkali is used. Calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. In our next lesson, we will examine another way of finding the end point of a titration that does not depend on using an indicator. So, until we meet again, goodbye.